you felt you'd really done something good for a country that you had an obligation to help and the locals were saying thank you that's good it means that you're making progress and you're being a good regional neighbour being a friend you are helping a friend Went down to uh, my head and back and all this. Keke and Kawa used the system of using family to kill family. Dad had a uh, 22 short guns. Everyone that uh, was being attacked knows who actually attacked them. Yeah? It's not a hidden story. They're using arms. I'll use arms too. If Keke ordered somebody to murder somebody and it was his brother, the person did it. And I said, okay, I'll take revenge. Yes. People living around, it's all neighbours and friends and all this. Otherwise, they would have died themselves, so it was uh, just tragic. Actually tragic, but it was a way of testing loyalty. When you think you might have a failed state, then uh, you allow your mind to Rome at large as to what the consequences are. Australia said, we're going to come and help you, but we're not going to come alone, which is the right thing to do. The first key objective of the operation was to restore law and order. They uh, dismantled the power structure of uh, Harukeke. We took the decision to actually destroy the firearms. And when that happened, it was easy for Malaitans to return their guns as well. Bruni came out and this place here was already filled with people, expressing the disappointment. And that's where when things started to go violent. We've come we've come a long way in a very short period of time, which is also Worrying too. And we're only human. Did we really forgive? Did we really put it away? That's the question we need to ask ourselves now. I've decided to leave the, I mean, the past behind. So most of what people were got to come, born in my house, long. they live in my house. Come, you give me what I can. But life is their relatives. Yeah. So one of them happened, become, becomes history. This country is now in the hands of the young people. Yeah. And if they learn what happened in the immediate past and see that it's bad for the country and they will learn from that to plan the future, then Solomon Islands have a, a hope, yeah, which I believe it will. <laughs>